Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will learn how to write scientific notation of given numbers and to write how many times as much one is than the other. Now we know how to write an expression with positive and negative exponents. For example, 1 upon 125 can be written as 1 upon 5 into 5 into 5, which is equal to 1 upon 5 raised to power 3, which is equal to 5 raised to power minus 3. Similarly, 8 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2, which can be written as 2 raised to power 3. So here we have written these expressions in negative and positive exponent form. Now we already know that in 2 raised to power 3, 2 is called the base and 3 is called the exponent or power. Now here the numbers are small, so we can easily write them in exponent form. But some numbers are very large like 320 billion or very small like 0 0.000056. Now, in order to write such numbers which are very large or very small, we make use of scientific notations. Now, some examples of scientific notations are 4.3 into 10 raised to power 9, then 2 into 10 raised to power 6, and 5.7 into 10 raised to power minus 8. Now in scientific notations, we make use of powers of 10 to write numbers. So in scientific notation, a number is written as a product of a number which is greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10 and a power of 10 as here you can see, this scientific notation is written as a product of a number and a power of 10 where the number 4.3 is greater than 1 but less than 10. Similarly, you can observe other scientific notations also. Now let us see integral powers of 10. Now 10 raised to power 5 is equal to 100,000. Then 10 raised to power 4 is equal to 10,000. Then 10 raised to power 3 is equal to 1,000. 10 raised to power 2 is equal to 100. And 10 raised to power 1 is equal to 10. Now 10 raised to power 0 is equal to 1. 10 raised to power minus 1 is equal to 1 upon 10 which is equal to 0 0.1. Then 10 raised to power minus 2 is equal to 1 upon 10 raised to power 2 which is equal to 1 upon 100. And this is equal to 0 0.01. And 10 raised to power minus 3 is equal to 0 0.001 and then we will have 10 raised to power minus 4 then 10 raised to power minus 5 and so on. Now let us see how to write scientific notation. Now a scientific notation of a number is written as a into 10 raised to power n 
where A is called the coefficient or factor which is greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10 and N is the exponent or power of 10. Now N can be a negative integer or a positive integer. Now this exponent will be negative when the number to be expressed in scientific notation is between 0 and 1 and the exponent will be positive when this number is greater than 1. Now 0 0.4 into 10 raised to power 5 is not written in scientific notation because Here the factor which is 0 0.4 is less than 1 and we know that the factor should be greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10. Now let us discuss some examples. Now let us write 783 million in scientific notation. Now here you can see that 783 million is greater than 1 and we know that when the number to be expressed in scientific notation is greater than 1 then power of 10 is positive. Now in the first step we will put a decimal. at the end of last zero in the given number. So here we will put one decimal. Now in scientific notation in the coefficient A the decimal point is placed after the first digit. Now as we said the decimal should be placed after first digit. It means here decimal must be after seven. So we have to move the decimal point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 places to the left. Now let us place a carrot where we have to place a decimal. And now count the number of digits between carrot and the decimal point. Now here you can see that there are 8 digits between carrot and decimal point and the number of digits which is 8 will be the exponent or power of 10 in scientific notation. So in scientific notation we can write the given number as 7.83 into 10 raised to power 8. Now here as the given number is greater than 1 so the power of 10 is a positive integer. And now let us discuss another example in which we have to write 0 0.00456 in scientific notation. Now this number is very small and it is between 0 and 1 and we know that if the number to be expressed in scientific notation is between 0 and 1 then the power of 10 is a negative integer now in the first step we will place the carrot after the first non-zero digit which is 4 and then we will write the remaining digits of the given number which are 5 and 6. And now we will count the number of digits between decimal and carrot. 
Now here we have three digits. Now the number of digits which is three will be the power of ten in scientific notation but it will be negative because the given number is between zero and one. Now in scientific notation we will place the decimal after four so it will be 4.56 into 10 raised to power minus 3. So here we have moved the decimal 3 places to the right. Now let us see how to change the given scientific notation in standard form. Now let us discuss it with the help of an example. Here we will write 7.8 into 10 raised to power 5 in standard form. Now we can convert it in standard form by expanding the powers of 10 and multiplying the result with a number which is greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10. Now here the number which is greater than 1 but less than 10 is 7.8. So, we will expand the powers of 10 and 10 raised to power 5 will be equal to 100,000 and we will multiply it with 7.8 and this is equal to 780,000.0 Now here you can see that we have moved the decimal 5 places to the right from its existing position or we can write it as 780,000 Now in the second example we will write 4.56 into 10 raised to power minus 3 in standard form. Now this is equal to 4.56 into 1 upon 10 raised to power 3 which is 1000. So this is equal to 0 0.00456 now here the decimal point moves three places to the left from its existing position. Now let us see how to find which scientific notation is greater. Now consider these scientific notations. Now suppose we have to arrange these scientific notations from the greatest to the least now let us group them according to exponents. Now 4.97 into 10 raised to power 7 and 4.89 into 10 raised to power 7 have same exponents. So for comparing these two numbers, we will compare the coefficients. Now 4.97 is greater than 4.89. Therefore, 4.97 into 10 raised to power 7 is greater than 4.89 into 10 raised to power 7. Similarly, 4.54 into 10 raised to power 9 is greater than 4.26 into 10 raised to power 9. Now, Exponent 9 is greater than 7. So, arranging the given notations from the greatest to the least, we have 4.54 into 10 raised to power 9, then 4.26 into 10 raised to power 9, and then 4.97 into 10 raised to power 7, and then the least which is 4.89 into 10 raised to power 7. Now let us learn to write 
How many times as much one is than the other? Now we know the product and quotient rule of exponents having same base. Now these rules are used to solve real life problems involving scientific notations like product or division of two scientific notations. Now let us discuss one example. Now in this example it is given that if the population of US is 3.6 into 10 raised to power 8 and the world population is 7.4 into 10 raised to power 9 then show that the world population is 20 times US population. Now let us start with its solution. Now we have to show that world population is 20 times US population. That means we have to show that world population is equal to 20 into the US population. That is, we have to show that world population upon US population is equal to 20. Now let us find world population upon US population. Now world population is given as 7.4 into 10 raised to power 9 upon US population is given as 3.6 into 10 raised to power 8. Now this is equal to 7.4 upon 3.6 the whole into 10 raised to power 9 upon 10 raised to power 8 the whole. Now on calculating this is equal to 2.05 into now using the quotient rule this will be 10 raised to power 9 minus h which is equal to 10 raised to power 1. So this is equal to 20.5 that is 20 approximately. So, world population upon US population is equal to 20, which means world population is 20 times US population. So, in this session we have learnt about scientific notations. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.